Well, news just coming in. In fact, government sources are have uh, yet again reaffirmed to Times now that the UFA joint statement was not on a composite dialogue process with Pakistan. Uh, in, uh, instead, it, uh, of course, it was to primarily focus on terrorism. Uh, this comes even as the NSA Sartaj Aziz of Pakistan had uh, said earlier that there will be no dialogue with India unless all issues are on the agenda. Aditya Raj call is on the phone line. Aditya, this uh, statement that's coming in once again from the Pakistani side comes right right ahead of the DG BSF level talks. Well, that's right. Yet again, provocation coming in from the Pakistani side. Uh, the Pakistan's National Security Advisor, Sartaj Aziz, in fact, uh, uh, spoke to a local media outfit in Pakistan, clearly outlining that uh, the bilateral issues cannot be discussed if uh, there are no composite, uh, composite dialogue, and again, raking up the Kashmir issue. Even as the government sources here in India very much confirmed to Times now that uh, the UFA uh, statement clearly outlined that there needs to be a discussion and deliberation on terrorism between the two countries. And uh, notwithstanding what exactly has happened, India is committed to go ahead with the DG level talks. Uh, the BSF and the Park Rangers was supposed to meet between the 9th and the 13th of September. But here's mm. the provocation coming in. So we'll have to uh, wait and watch. The Pakistan is committed to go ahead with this uh, meeting because Pakistan has been uh, constantly provoking India. But India at this moment maintains that the spirit of the UFA joint statement between the two Prime Ministers, Nawaz Sharif and Narendra Modi, needs to be uh, really uh, 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 respected in many ways. And also yesterday we have seen the Defence Minister of Pakistan provoking India, saying that uh, there can be injury inflicted upon India uh, so, so that India would remember this for a very long time. So such provocative uh, statements are very strategic for Pakistan because they want to derail the entire peace process and the talks agenda on terrorism because the blame should not come on them. But the common sources here in India maintain that they are observing uh, these uh, tactics by Pakistan and will report them whenever is required. But at this moment, they maintain that Pakistan should really be committed and respect the UFA statement and come on board on talks on terror.